Hey everybody, welcome to Sangen Jaya. This is an area in Tokyo, not too far away from Shibuya. And we are at an elevated position at a nice cafe bar. You can see some of the old alleys that run with lots of neat little restaurants just off of the main highway. And right now, hey everybody, I'm joined with this guy. This hey. is Dean Newcomb. He is the producer director, star, everything for this uh, a TV series which is called Runaway, the Soul of Japan. Did I get that right? You got that exactly right. Yeah. You got that exactly right. We're up really high in an elevated position. There's a little bit of wind, so we're sitting down low um, here having a couple of drinks. Um, yeah, show everybody, a, show everybody show. what you got here. Um, I've known Dean for a few years now, and the first time we, we really met was here in Sangin Jaya, so we're going to recreate uh, for you today what we did the first time we ran, which is pretty, we're doing it kind of backwards. But let, let's see here. This is the name of his show, Runaway Japan. And uh, uh, Dean, tell us a little bit about, about, okay, about so, Runaway. So we, The Soul of Japan is our first series. And we have made 11 episodes, which we are actually a little bit different to you, John. Yeah. So we're not going for social media uh, as our main platform. We're trying to now sell that to a TV network. And on top of that, and Instagram and you know the whole social media yeah. nest social media so well, I guess I guess you want to know what it is right what do we yeah. do <laughs> All right, let me bring the camera down here everything is is reversed by the way because of the way that the YouTube app is uh, reacting with we with the iPhone right now so we're down here in a lower position this is actually a really beautiful cafe this place uh, is on the rooftop here in Sangin Jaya uh, it just opened, so there's not a lot of people here. It's just me and Dean, just two guys. <laughs> if, if you're ever in Sangin Jaya, like half of the, I think half of the charm of this place is just finding it. Yeah. It's, it's one of those like incredible spots that people just don't know about, right? Yes, it's actually really, um, it, it's not that out of the way. It, it's literally right by the station. I, I think if we use this table here, we should be fine. Um, let me get this. Just, is that higher? Yeah, let's put the bench over here. How's that? Just for a little bit. So, I want to... And they even don't mind when we just move the furniture around. Huh? Yeah, they'd be <laughs> cool. We're the only people here for right now. Beautiful day. You can see the sky up there. But Dean, I, I want to I learn more about um, your show called uh, Runaway Japan, The Soul of Japan. Let me bring in this little sticker. So, I love me, this. It's cute, huh? Yeah. One of uh, my uh, Japanese illustrators did this. So. Basically, me and four other, tra four other travelers from, uh, I'm from the UK, and we had one other guy from England. We had a girl from California, a girl half Russian, half Norwegian, and a guy from America. And we went around Japan for 50 days consecutively. Wow. Which everybody told me was impossible and crazy, and they were right about the crazy part of that. Yeah. <laughs> we did pull it off. It almost killed me. And we shot, yeah, we shot 11 episodes. So basically we did four days on, one day off, four days on, one day off, consecutive, 50 days, and that made 11 episodes. Boom. <laughs> he has, and, so, so what, what I'm trying to say is, okay, I make this show only in Japan, and I, I have uh, 110 episodes over several years, okay? He, in the span of 50 days, made 11 episodes, full-length TV uh, length, 28 minutes, yeah, yeah. 20. 28 minute episodes that, for commercial TV, which is insane. It is insane. It is. And, it, and it goes on because you've got like, once you've made the footage, just doing like narration, graphics, motion graphics, subtitling, you know, yeah. the amount of work involved is massive. But I really thought that it was a, a valuable project. And uh, like, like yourself, I've been working for um, NHK World. Right. We, we have actually been on the same show called Journeys in Japan. You've done a lot more. You've done like 15? Uh, almost, something. yeah. Almost yeah. 15 journeys. Yeah. I've only done three of them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool show where we travel around Japan and, and highlight some unique places uh, on the other side. I think that was one of the things that really inspired me doing that show. Yeah. Because I, I do like you. I really enjoy that. And, and I think the content's really strong. Yeah. And then I thought, you know, maybe it's time that I could kind of add my own personality into making a similar kind of content. I really wanted to introduce Japan. But I think the big thing about Runaway that we've never seen before is I do it all with my own physical body. 
which means I don't touch a train, a bus, a car, a taxi, the whole way around Japan. Yeah. And I get all the way from Tokyo down to the、like、human power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see my human power later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to bring the camera right. That's right. So, last time I came here with Dean、uh, a couple of years ago, we went. I'm American, and one of the national sports of Japan is baseball. And、uh, Dean, wh- wh- where is your home country? Oh my god, it was so. Admit it. Yeah, yeah, come was, on over here. It was so what, embarrassing. What's your, home, what's your home country? I'm from, I'm from England. Okay, so. So we play cricket. cricket. We do not play baseball. And、uh, yeah, it was a bit. It's a bit shameful, really, but. No, I, I think we're about e- equal. Because I haven't played baseball in a very long time.、Uh, you, need, you need nine players on each team, you need 18 people basically to play a full game of baseball. Uh, so, but going to the batting game, get cages,、uh, w- which is what we have here, it's a retro batting cage. After we t-、um, have lunch, I've got this really nice, really nice、uh, lunch here. So, after we eat this and I talk a little bit with Dean, we're going to go to the batting cages in about 30 minutes. And then,、um, bring the camera here. There you go. So, we're going to go to the batting cages and recreate the challenge. Yeah. Where the American versus the Brit, and we go at it in a baseball <laughs> who's, cage. Who's your money on, huh? <laughs> Now, this, this was my coach, right? You know, <laughs> where to put my feet, how to hold the ball. I didn't, I didn't know anything about how to play baseball, how to swing. I was, like, I was trying to anti coach you because I wanted to win. I was like, how many, how many, can we, how many, how many balls can we hit? So, we're going to recreate this challenge and see how many balls at, at this retro batting cage we can hit. There's 20 pitches. How many out of 20 pitches can we actually hit? Now,、um, Yeah, I, I don't know who's going to win, to be honest with you, because it's all about eye hand coordination, and you're in much better shape than I am. <laughs> yeah, in good shape for my, my thing. So, in the show,、uh, cycling, running, hiking,、right. kayaking, some really cool, like, kind of yeah, you, outdoor things. You do it all. Do you, show, show us the one picture. You, you do it all in your, your series. Now, this is. Yeah, there's a, there's a there's, flyer. There's a lot. We, have, we do spend a lot of time doing the Facebook and Instagram pages for、um, still content. So there's、yeah. loads of pictures up there、um, of the adventure. And basically, that's in、uh, between the border of Mie and Wakayama Prefecture, where we found this amazing shrine called、uh, Kam- Kamakura. Okay, I, Kamiku, Kamikura. Kamikura. I like this because it's taken sports and athletics and physical challenge and kind of combined it with tourism, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 There's a few more pictures on the back. I, I think you'll like this one. It's <laughs>、oh, yeah. so、an up close and personal、um, experience in a very natural onsen, which is outside.、Yeah. And、um, you can actually see the onsen from pretty much all over the town, like off the bridge. And nobody seems to mind. The old men just jump in there naked. And nudity and,、yeah. is not a big deal. It's not a big deal.、Uh, in the countryside, so, yeah. So we gave it a go.、We're, you certainly we're, did. <laughs> we're tactically <laughs> you certainly covering、did. the bits. <laughs> I see Bloody Bricks is in here. Thank you very much, Mario.、Uh, yes,、yeah, so、we're going to be doing a little bit of baseball culture. And the, the reason why I think that this is, this is so important for you guys to meet Dean is because he's somebody who's been here in Japan for about 10 years now. Right. You're coming into 10, 10 years now. And, and he's somebody who, who came in here first initially at,、uh, through modeling. Correct. Right. And now you've moved into entrepreneurship,、uh, television, media. I guess so. And, and you have your own business, which is expanding. It's called, is it called Runaway as well?、Uh, well, I, I guess my two main business areas are production and casting. So I have DN Casting, where I cast wonderful people like you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> yes. And I have a production company just set up for, like a lot of production companies set up to do corporate videos and all kinds of stuff. We are literally focused on making only this show. So we,、yeah. we want to make travel content in Japan. That's it. Yeah, that's a, that's a really exciting goal because I think、um, as Japan moves more and more、uh, bridging between what they do here in Japan and the Western world, more people like me and Dean are kind of needed in Japan to help、uh, make content or explain things to people in a non Japanese way, in a way that other people can understand.、Mm-hmm. And, and Japanese content and producers, if you ever watch J- YouTube Japan, you'll see they got their own style. It's not exactly the same thing that, that we do. We're more.、Uh, And it's just different. <laughs> That's the only way to say it. We're different than, than the, the way that the Japanese YouTubers do it. So、um, this is really important. But you chose, Dean, not to use YouTube. You chose to、uh, go full all out to make a TV show, which is kind of a dying 
It's, yeah, interesting, huh? It is, right? I, I think that's just because our background is so different. I don't, um, I'm definitely no uh, social media uh, wizard, and I definitely don't have the experience on YouTube. I never had my own personal channel or anything like that. So even though you've obviously given me the coaching over the years of yeah, how but, to do it. Okay, well, come on over here. But I think that Dean should totally do YouTube, just, <laughs> just on the side, just for himself, maybe. And I think he, he's got this natural thing where he can connect with people, right? I think it's something that he should do. So we got to encourage him to do that, all right? Anyways, he can hear me. So, <laughs> I think yeah. you should do YouTube. You heard me. You think so? I think so. I think you get it, some really great ideas. It, but you're, you're, the thing with doing the TV stuff is that your production quality is insanely high. You, you have gimbals, drones, you have cameramen, teams, audio, everything while you're on the run doing athletes. It really is a challenge because I know I produce all these shows by myself and I have the same kind of challenges, but not on the scale that you have because you have other people besides yourself. Sure. Yeah, that's a and mouthful. The, the only reason that I, I guess I took it on and did it that way is just because that's what I knew, you know, from doing all my years as a, as a model, actor, or, or talent, as they say here. Yeah. That was what I was exposed to constantly. Yeah. So I, even, even if I was only the model, only the actor, I could always see behind the camera the, the people who are shooting this, the directors are making this happen, and you're, if you open your mind to this world, you're learning all the time, right? Right. So, so you're not only modeling, but you're thinking, hey, that's a cool camera over there, like, can I... I, I like the angle, I like the lighting, and you, you know, you're trying to pick up as much as you can. Yeah. And then, you know, I, I'd done it for 10 years. Right. And it just seemed like, you know, I, I could probably pull this off. And uh, yeah, oh, ho hopefully this year we will start broadcasting in Japan okay. first. Okay. And then, and then overseas. Yeah. And then the so, world. But the, the version is pretty much the same. It's just that we're going to have like uh, a Japanese narrator. We have this amazing guy who is um, half uh, African, half Japanese. Wow. Speaks English well speaks japanese fluently so he's going to be our japanese voice talent okay. and then yeah and then of course we have the the western version with with english uh s subtitling and voiceover so yeah multilingual right wow and, and you see this is series one you have season one in the can already in the can yeah and you're working on season two absolutely yeah <laughs> but, but yeah slowly Slowly, I kind of, I, I really jumped, this first 50 days, everything happened so fast, I got, I managed to get a little bit of um, investment budget to yeah. go away and oh, do sure, it. Yeah, sure, sure, you actually have a water company too. I do, these guys are awesome. Sponsors. Sponsor. <laughs> yeah, Midaizu. And the, and the really great thing is that, um, I guess I, I care a lot about branding. Yeah. So I didn't want to be sponsored by, let's say, a sugary soft drink or a tobacco company or something that didn't really work with the image of being fit and running around Japan. I mean like Coca-Cola and the <laughs> alcoholic Chuhai that they just <laughs> released in Japan. Mmm, <laughs> maybe not Coca-Cola is the I, best see, company. I tried yeah. not to say names, but yeah, yeah these guys... Don't are, name the names. You, yeah. you will love these guys as well. I'll send you some water. Okay. And the good thing about them, they're called Mirais. Uh, the Mirais word, Yeah, so the word Miraisu is... Future. Mi future, exactly, yeah, yeah. and water. Mizu, oh, I combined see. Mirais. Yeah, Mirais and water, Miraizu. Ah. And they're from a prefecture called Totori. Okay. And there's a really beautiful mountain that's shaped a bit. You've probably seen Fuji. It has that beautiful. A Daisen, yeah. Daisen, yeah. You've been to Daisen. Yeah, you guys, you guys know Daisen quite well. I've done a couple of live streams there, and that's where I did two journeys in Japan. So my journeys in Japan were always in Totori at Daisen last year, and then two years ago in Mihonoseki. So, yeah, this is Daisen. something that's. Daisen water. And it's a. Uh, this is not a circle. Here's a, probably too much information, but this is a. Uh, uh, I don't know the shape name. It has like twenty odd sides, and that's oh, yeah. representing. It's a very spiritual mountain, and they have a shrine up there. Yeah, and that's uh, a symbol which is relevant to the shrine there. So it's like sacred mountain water from Japan. Yeah, you know, da Daisen has the, some of the best water in Japan. Um, it, it, it's in the top three for sure. Uh, I know Santori, which is another company, <laughs> we don't want to name names, but Santori uh, has two bottling plants and they ha they're the biggest water producer in Japan for bottled water. One of them is in Min Minami Alps and the second one, which people in Osaka get, comes from Daisen. That's where their second water plant is. They store the snow from that area and melt it all year round to make the bottled water, which is pretty incredible. Um, but it, it, I'm really happy that you get sponsors. I mean, and they're local sponsors. It's, this is not big corporations. Yeah. These are local people. It's, I like that connecting local businesses with an international audience. That, it, I dig that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's important to me. I, I, we did the first series like a, a 
I mean, I'm sure you see in any picture I wore this like crazy kind of like Japanese talent style outfit with red shorts. And yeah, we, we, we discussed that. <laughs> we it's, discussed that. It's nuts. The bow tie guy, yeah. And then from, from here on, what, we thought that that would just grab some exposure, get noticed. And then from, from here on, uh, I want to find a, a Japanese company who's making clothing to ah, invest in us yeah. and uh, like water makes sense, energy bars. So hopefully we can tie up with a few companies and then instead of this just being like a one season thing, it's it's way deeper than that. It's a yeah. format, a new way of traveling and making content. Absolutely. And so we don't know necessarily if, if, if it's going to be season two going away and making 10 episodes or it might be like a special one of content where I try to kayak from Japan to Korea. No or, way. For can real, you wait? For can real. you do that? Can you kayak all the way to Korea? I saw some dude. He got in one of those puffy plastic balls <laughs> that they inflate, and he and he went all the way across the channel to Holland, from England. Uh, he did. Yeah, he, he got kind of sick. Whatever you can but, imagine. Whatever wow. you can conceive. Can Tokyo, be, Japan can be to done. Korea, bridging two countries with. Isn't, isn't that with, cool? With the physical body. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they've got there's a there's actually an island in the middle. Without that, I wouldn't be able to take. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna Europe, say. You can, you can take a break halfway. So. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So who knows? Like, I'm, I'm still kind of uh, feeling out what's, what's the next thing. Yeah. So tell us. So you, you originally came to Japan as, mm. as a model, though. Yeah. So mm. tell us a little bit by, by, about that. Most people mm. will come here as like English teachers, you know. Yeah. I guess so. Um, I had worked a little bit as a model in UK, where I'm from, uh, New Zealand. Uh, well, Singapore, uh, and uh, I actually ended up in Germany, wh who, because of my size, I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters, I'm, I'm quite big built. So oh, that's not that big, really. Not like John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so Germany seemed to match the image, and then I just got this random uh, invitation from a friend to like, I'd, I'd met a Japanese uh, or many Japanese people actually while I was traveling in New Zealand and working there. And somebody said, hey, why don't you come for Christmas and New Year to Japan and check it out? So I went over and I'm thinking, well, you know, Japan's like the, the top of the fashion industry maybe mm. for Asia. So surely I can model there. Mm. And I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I was quite arrogant maybe back then because I thought I'm just going to walk into a top agency and start modeling in Japan. But you did it that. Didn't, it didn't work out no. like that. It didn't. Because I'd just been in Germany and everybody's saying, can you, can you put on a bit more meat, a bit beef up a bit? Because we like everybody, we're going to do Adidas. Oh, the German style. Yeah. yeah. And then I get to Japan and they're like, you have a nice look, but can you get smaller? And I'm like, oh my oh, God. Oh, that's interesting. I just spent three months in the gym getting big. And now I have to like drop from 85, maybe down to 75 kilos. So. Yeah, I guess because the, the, yeah. the style that the, the Japanese like is a lot more, less masculine, I guess. As, especially on younger guys as well. Like yeah. it's, it's very um, androgynous um, and similar to maybe the females, you know, it's, it's got to be, you got to be slim and um, sharp in the face. Yeah. And Slender and sharp and in Germany, I guess it's more buff and yeah, muscular, yeah. more oils and yeah. stuff. And That's my image, yeah. Now, luckily, yeah. I'm in my 30s, so people don't give me a hard time about putting on muscle, so I just kind of do what I want. Yeah, I'm in my Age. 40s. <laughs> We're, I'm building <laughs> the, the other side of the waist you now. You should see these forearms <laughs> I'm holding the camera. You know? uh, well... <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I think that's really interesting. You came in, you came in through modeling, but you decided to stay. I mean, you you could have gone to Hong Kong. You could have yeah. gone to other places. But why Japan? I, I did try it. I went. I from going from Japan, I went to Singapore. From Japan, I went to Korea. I even did six months in Korea. So a long spell. Yeah. And so I tried out different markets, see if my image would work. And but I mean, most of it comes down to how do you feel in the place that you're living and mm. like. For anybody out there who's been to Japan, they just, they know that it's just it's a really nice place to be. They they treat me with a lot of respect here. It's they say sumiyasui. It's it's easy to live here. Yeah, sumiyasui. Um, I could I could make my living. Yeah. Um, I like I like people here. They're friendly. It's clean. It's safe. It's yeah. safe. It's safe. It's safe. I come from England and Nottingham, so that matters. Yeah. Right. It's. Yeah. People don't walk up to you and punch you in the street, you know. They do that. They, they do that. I don't know. They do that in England. I guess they. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, there's these a, are a lot, a lot of charming factors about Japan, and then like, and then you get into our world of the the cultural aspect of Japan, and right. it's just so deep, you know. There's no end to it. In fact, I'm always every day I'm learning something yeah. new. Yeah, I feel the same. You know, yeah. ten years and I still know nothing. You know, I'm still like peeling back layers and searching for like what because we're we're out there like we call it Soul of Japan. Right. Play on words, soul, foot, 
the bottom of your foot, the soul, S-O-L-E. S-O-L-E, S-O-U-L, yeah. And we go yeah. searching for the S-O-U-L, soul, the soul of Japan. And like, but who am I to, to say what is the soul of Japan, right? But I, I suggest in every episode an element which ah. makes up the soul of Japan. Why is Japan so fascinating? Why is it so interesting? So if you went to Korea, it'd be S-E-O-U-L? Remains to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> the but, soul I mean, of the, Korea, maybe. Japan. But it's really repeatable, right? Yeah. Like the soul of Korea, the soul of Tohoku, the soul of Hokkaido. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's really great. And and um, with these kinds of activities, with these, it, it's instead of just going over there. This is one of the things where I think your idea is really amazing. While your show is really amazing, is because instead of just going out there like everybody else, like me, and just introducing a place. You use another medium to do it. You use sports, you use activities. And each area of Japan has like great hiking or mountains or there's challenges all over this country that Japanese do as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's, that that's really, fun. like the kayaking is not something that I knew was really big here in Japan, but there you are out there kayaking in the sea. The so I thought that was pretty is, cool. Is that you would never know if you have a kayak. Yeah. You're pretty much free to just jump in any river, any lake, any sea. And it's like in Japan, a lot of things require permissions. But if you have your own kayak, you can pretty, you're pretty much just free. You can literally just take it to Lake Biwa yeah. and just paddle all over the place, you know? So Yeah. It's the, uh, the, the freedom of Japan. Just like crack open a beer and walk around town. I, 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 you know, maybe not walk around town, but you can eat, you can drink beers outside. You can kayak just about anywhere. The drones are different, though. There are rules and yeah, laws careful, to drones. Man. Be careful, guys. But. Uh, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like, this whole place is, in a way, for athletes, it's a playground. It's a mecca, yeah. It's a mecca, right, it it, really so is. to speak. It's the center. So, some, uh, some unknown, somehow, there's like 130 million people here, right? Yes. But 90% of the land is, is not, like, habitable. It's, it's forest, it's rivers, it's lakes, it's... Um, and we're talking serious mountains. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they have they have 100 great peaks that a lot of the elderly people will try to hike out before, yeah. before they die. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Japan is just stacked with the natural world. And when people ask me, where's the best place to feel Japan? It's not in the cities. You can not feel a little bit there, but it's really going outside of the city centers. And you do that in your show by, by like, walking running biking and it, it, that that's really how, how can we watch your show um it's not on tv yet yeah this, so this how is would the we... really difficult bit because so many people are saying i want to see it where can i, I see don't want to see and it so, well I, I get the dvds actually there, there is a, so, there's yeah. a youtube channel and it's just <laughs> mostly full of quite random content but the trailer's up there and you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit because it's it's very difficult for me to say uh let, let's say put this up on youtube right. before we get a broadcasting deal because it affects how i um i manage the future of the show with the right. tv stations but however once we do broadcast it we're probably gonna release the content in instead of a 27 minute piece maybe four six or seven minute pieces oh. as bite-sized content and we'll do that through the youtube channel whether it be our own or through like a, a, a you know a, a, a yeah. hosting Service. Wow, that's really interesting. Mm. You know, there's more than one way to approach uh, putting content up on the internet. There's more than one way to produce a show. Uh, nowadays, most people are, are look through the prism of Netflix or Amazon Prime and uh, YouTube, which is uh, consumer-generated media. But now, more and more, actually, all of the big TV networks are putting their stuff on YouTube. Mm. So it seems like all of the platforms are starting to cross and each other. I think that's exciting for me and you as well because you've obviously been so successful and like, I'm so inspired by this guy all the time. Like what, <laughs> what you've done with Only in Japan is just so amazing. It's incredible, you know? And, We're just uh, having fun, guys. And, and I feel like I've had my own success but in a, a completely different yeah. sakai, a different world over here. And like, I think the combination of us two kind of banging heads together and like collaborating could be super exciting. Yeah. Bringing TV and you know, like you could be in an episode of uh, Runaway. And, <laughs> That'd be fun. I don't know if I could take on the challenge <laughs> know, though. Does, does anybody want to see John like, you know, no, running no. through nature, no, maybe like hiking nothing, nothing, up some crazy Nothing to say here, okay, and... please move on. I do that anyways in the show, but I think though that, you, you know, what, what, what's really interesting is we both came, come from TV backgrounds. Uh, I started before only in Japan with NHK. I started NHK in 2008. So I kind of, when I make the main channel episodes, I look at a programming point of view. Mm. These aren't vlogs. This is a vlog, but these aren't vlogs that I, I actually produce and you don't produce vlogs as well right it's very high quality professional material with editing you put a lot of time and effort into mm. it and the story isn't just about you that's it's what not, I like about not, it yeah. it's about Japan it's about the challenge it's about the human 
uh, Seoul as well as the Seoul of Japan, mm -hmm. as, which, as it's in the name of your series. So um, he, he does have some content on YouTube. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, there's also a website that you have to support. You also have, is the Kickstarter still going? Uh, kick, we did a Kickstarter. Did it, was, a Kickstarter. Um, it was successful. Not not quite on your level, but it was successful. successful. <laughs> That's another <laughs> issue for those who back the Kickstarter. But well, but I, I'm really happy to introduce you uh, to Dean, and and hopefully we can get Dean onto the main mm -hmm. channel and do some other uh, content because he's a really fun guy, nice guy to work with. Uh, I've nice. I've I've known you for a few years now, so it's it's pretty cool to to after we eat lunch then have a batting challenge. So <laughs> that's going to be the fun bit. Yeah, huh? that's going to yeah. be fun. So, so thanks for introducing your show to us. We're going to go to the batting cages in about 15 minutes. The link to that is already online, so you can you can get the notification and see that. That's going to start around um, 1, uh, 1.05 or 1.10 p.m., which is... Um, 12.43 now. 12.43, yeah. so about 20 minutes we're going to be uh, at the batting cages. So stay tuned for the next live stream. Thank you, Jim, for the, for the shout-out uh, on that for Patreon. And thanks, everybody. Thank you, Bloody Bricks and everybody else for giving the, the super chats. I do appreciate it. Um, see you again in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Don't laugh. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.